Uh, thanks, Governor, for, uh, for having the confidence in me to let me address the American people at this crucial time in American history. Uh, there's so much to say, so please forgive me if I, if I read from my notes. And you may feel as I go that you want to uh, comment, uh, you know, every once in a while. Just jump in as if it was your show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very generous of you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm here because of my heavy heart that a great man, Dinesh D'Souza, a patriotic man, more patriotic than anyone I can think of at this moment, present company accepted, is being aggressively, negatively targeted in many ways. And the latest targeting is the boycotting of the great, important book, America, Imagine the World Without Her. And, uh, and uh, his film is based on this book and should be seen by every patriotic American. It is in theaters now. Five years ago, I stated that uh, Obama would take the country apart, piece by piece, that he would cause a civil, a civil war in this country. In hindsight, we can see how many things have come to pass. My greatest heartache is that we sacrificed thousands of our American heroes liberating Iraq, only for President Obama to pull out all troops leaving Iraq now to be taken over by the terrorists. What does he say about that? Nothing. Governor Romney warned us about Russia's aggressions. Now we have seen his concerns come to fruition. What does Obama say about that? Nothing. He has been warned numerous times by Prime Minister Netanyahu that our most dangerous enemy now is Iran, who will most definitely have the nuclear bomb. And it will not be for peaceful purposes. It will be to destroy Israel and America, as they have stated. And we certainly can believe these threats. Let us remember let us not forget Benghazi. Let us not say what difference does it make. Obama found a perfect way to put this under the rug, blaming Republicans, saying that they just want to find fault with his administration. And still, to this day, we don't know the truth. Let us not forget the unspeakable way our veterans have been ignored and many left to die in many of our veteran hospitals. Let us not forget the IRS scandal. Does he think that the American people are stupid? That they would believe that Lois Lerner is completely innocent and did not target all these conservative groups? And suddenly all the records are lost. Nothing to be found to show her guilt. And his newest and latest destruction, which you've just seen on the show, encouraging and allowing millions of poor illegal children from Central America who will be a great burden monetarily for our country and they are already spreading tuberculosis, scabies and chickenpox and putting our own children at risk of catching these diseases. And this very serious influx has been brought about not to benefit the young immigrant children but in order to benefit the Democrats in the 2016 election. John, I, I, uh, I listened to your message and I'm, I, I'm drawn into the fact that you are courageously sharing your heart with the American people, but also it's, it's a word of warning. And we were talking about how the Democratic Party has really changed. It used to be that the parties weren't that different. They had a little different view of life in the world, but things have changed, haven't they? Yeah, very, very strongly. Uh, the Democrat Party is uh, um, has become a very negative force uh, I'm going to go to this now uh, it's more socialistic in their thinking and they have uh, they've given young women the wrong ideas about what democracy really is Debbie Wasserman Schultz is the gang leader for all the wrong information to our young women convincing them that Republicans are stopping their li liberties and freedoms of reproduction when the truth is, as the Supreme Court upheld, 
that religious freedoms are being infringed upon. We're all aware, I'm going to go to this, the latest atrocities that have taken place in Israel. And you've brought this up. Absolutely. Michelle. Three young teens have been killed mercilessly and hundreds of rockets are still being fired at Israel's civilian population. Obama promised Prime Minister Netanyahu, America is your ally and we will cover your back. So why does he continue to send billions to the Palestinian Authority who have recently allied themselves with Hamas, an acknowledged terrorist organization, who are responsible for these crimes. Is that covering his back? Obama wrote a book about his father, who he seems to idealize. It's a fact that his father was a Marxist who hated America because he saw America as aggressors. Meanwhile, it was America who has helped all the other nations whenever they were, they, they were in need. Obama never has acknowledged that and in fact went across the world apologizing for us and is piece by piece whittling down our military strength, the strength all the world has relied on. And in doing so, he has paved the way for the most violent radical elements across the world to thrive. My dear friends all over the world, please pay attention to what is taking place in our great America. Stand up for your freedoms. Don't be afraid to express wrong when you see it. And for us, let us bring our country back to what we once were and are obligated to be. A strong America, love of life and freedom. May God bless us all. That is beautiful. You know, when I hear...